Good day and welcome to our short explanation and demonstration of how to draw and animate a circle in PowerPoint. It's not very uh, difficult, but it's certainly not obvious. So in this case, I want to highlight this grayed out area down here in this picture that I've got. So uh, let's get to it. I'm going to click Insert. And what you need to do is click Insert and then Shapes. And what you're looking for is Curve. Uh, so let's click on Curve. And now I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to start at the far right and I'm going to click and then drag and then I'm just going to click a bunch of times around here. There we go. So, And I want to make this a bit messy at the end so there we go. Uh, now I double click to finish it off uh, and uh, because I'd like it to look more like, uh, well I want it to look thicker, I want to change some of the things, I want to quickly uh, change a number of settings here. The first thing I want to do is make it thicker. So I'm going to make this a six point. Um, I would like this to be a little bit transparent. Um, you know, like um, like a real drawing might be, and uh, see, there we go, yeah, right, like a highlighter might be, something like that, there we go, that kind of works, and uh, then I want to change the color to uh, red, and I also see the ends of this are square, I want to make those uh, cap types, I want to make them round, there, so they just look better, so there we go, now uh, at this point, um, I could animate this, uh, and this one actually might look okay. So let's just go through and animate it, and then we'll show you one more change you may want to make. Uh, but we'll do get right to the point here. So let's go to Animations, and what you're looking for is Wheel. If you don't see it there, go down to Appearance, or Entrance, I should say, and there's Wheel. And there it is. That looks pretty good. Now, let's say I screwed up a bit, and uh, I wanted to adjust this... Um, I wanted this, uh, I had this uh, start point uh, a little bit too far to the right. So what I can do is double click on it. What I can do is uh, on the format menu, I can click uh, uh, the edit shape and edit the points and you'll see that I can adjust this. So I'll make a mistake here by dragging this too far out, which just will simply show you, you know, why you don't want to do that. But you'll get the idea here. So let's go here and let's go back to animations and wheel. And you'll see that just doesn't look right. So I'm going to undo that, just with Control z in my case, to make this faster so you don't have to see anymore. Now I'd also like to make this look a little more realistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on this and I'm going to select Copy. And then I'm simply going to uh, right-click somewhere else and select Paste. But this time I'm going to select Paste Picture. There we go, and I'm going to get rid of the original. So now I'm dealing with my duplicate. But now it's a picture. It's no longer a set of instructions. And you can see it's still transparent. You can still see through here. Um, but um, I now have the option to do a couple of things with it. In particular, if I double click on it now, well, I get the picture tools. And in picture tools, I have artistic effects. And look at the things you can do with artistic effects. That is the one I want. Actually, line drawing, that's the one I want to do. So uh, I'm going to click on line drawing. And now, when I uh, go to animations, and I select wheel, it kind of looks like a pencil, uh, which is not bad. Okay, if you uh, think that this is drawing too quickly or too slowly, uh, it's easy enough to change, uh, simply double click on it and then select animations. And you'll see here that the, uh, the animation starts on click and this is taking two seconds to complete. I wanna make that way faster. I wanna make it one second. So let's see what that looks like now. So I'll go to, uh, well, we'll just preview it. There we go. And I could change that to any length of time I wanted. If you had a bunch of animations, by the way, you could click the animation pane, but that's not important for this uh, course. It's just something you might want to know. Now, uh, if you think, well, I've spent some time building this. I'd like to use it somewhere else. Not a problem. Just select it. Right-click on it. Select Copy. Uh, go to your other slide that you want to point something out. In this case, I want to point out, I don't know, something. I just press Control v on my keyboard to paste it. But you can paste it with right-click or any other way you'd want. And I can resize this now, and I can move this down, and I can say, whoa, I just want to note that header thing right there. I just want to note these two settings down here. There we go. And now, looks pretty good. So I can go, let's look at the presentation quite quickly. Let's get an idea for it. I'll click through it. There it is. And I go to the next slide. And there it is. That's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you.